Welcome to Week of the Young Child Family Friday at Lehigh Valley Children's Centers. I am Miss Allison from ELC. Today we are going to do a bubble painting activity. Come on, let's go. I'm going to show you an art project and it's also a science project. It's called bubble painting and I'll show you why it's also science in a second. So here are the materials you're going to need for bubble painting. Okay. You need measuring cups, measuring spoons, empty containers, straws, straws, tape, paper or cardstock, water, water, dish soap, bubble solution, corn syrup, food coloring, old clothes, and something to cover your workspace. Which we have this blue tablecloth. It's cool. So we're going to make three different types of bubble solutions. Well, we're going to make two types. We're going to um, use um, regular bubble solution um, in one of them. Can we, it up? we will. In one second, Eli, can you be patient? Mm -hmm. So our first solution. We're going to use one and a half cup bubble solution and we're going to add eight drops of food coloring. The colors we're using today are red, yellow, and blue, which are our primary colors. So let me move some of this stuff off our workstation. Can you hold that? Can I have the straws? Thank you. I'll get it, Bubba. Yeah, we're going to give that to Mommy. Thank you. All right, Eli and Myra, can you help each other pour the bubble solution into this one? We only need like a cup and a half, and I'll tell you when to stop. Myra, please help him with that. No. We don't need it. No, we don't need that. You're right. Come on. Pour, pour, pour. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, stop. All yeah, right. Oh, you're gonna get too much. Yep. Where's the lid? Put it to the side. What color are we making that? Red, blue, or yellow? Yeah. Yellow. All righty. Okay. Here, let's put it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight All right. Where's this little color. spoon? Eli, can you slowly stir that? Yeah. Careful, 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 slowly. Slowly, slowly. Thank you. All right, now put the spoon down. The next solution we're going to make, solution number two, is one cup of water, one half cup dish soap, and eight drops of food color. So we have our measuring cups. Here's one cup. Yep. So we're going to add one cup of water. In the middle one. And a half cup of dish. You're gonna pour it in that water then. Like dish water? Mm -hmm. Stop moving though, it's hard for me to follow. No, it's not. You need a half cup. That's almost all the way to the cup. Or it actually is all the way to the cup. Alright, pour it in, pour it in, pour it in. Oh, and that's why we need to make sure we have something to cover our space with. All right, mix that up a while. Mix it all in, mix it all in. Now what color do we want to make this one? Red or blue? It's probably going to turn purple because the dish soap's blue. Eight, I'll do that eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow, Bubba. It's yeah, it's making it like purple. Because I don't have clear dish soap. Yeah, the can is pretty good though. Keep it straight, Mark. Okay, pour it in here. You don't need more. 
Can I mix the next one? Okay, you want to hold that? Can I mix the next one, Bubba? The next color we're making is blue. All right, pour that in. Ooh, the red one's making a lot of bubbles. Here, here. Put your paper on top of it. Yuck. Oh my gosh. Yuck. Yuck. Is there enough color in it? No. It's all clear. Right. Yuck. Sometimes you gotta add more color. Can I, can I blow in you? Yeah. So we're gonna finish doing this. And we'll come back. But All right, bubbles, so bubble went in my mouth. That's because you're supposed to blow and not suck on it. Yeah. Okay, well, be careful not to suck. Ugh. All right. So here's some of our pictures. Here's the one me and Eli did. Myra's gonna bring hers up to show you. Eli, I think you turned this into a comedy. I know. <laughs> you did. This is what I did. Now we found out that we needed to add more food coloring, a lot more food coloring, to get it to dye, unless maybe it's the kind of paper we chose to use. Um, and which one do you think blew the best bubbles, Myra? Um, um, uh, uh, I have two choices, but mm -hmm. mostly I, I, I had the red and the yellow, uh -huh. but I mostly chose the red because it blew this big bubble on the top the first time until the wind blew all the bubbles away. So that's the one you think blew the best bubbles? Yeah. And, and Eli, which one do you think blew the best and bubbles? And no. Which one do you think blew the best bubbles? Um, How about you answer my question first and then you can take one out. I think the wind did. Was it the blue, the red, or the yellow? Yellow. You think the yellow did? I think all three of them blew them the same. Yeah. Except for when the wind keeps blowing out. Wait, this is so here's three different ways you can make bubble solution. You use pre-made or mix up your own so that you can make your own bubble painting. Thank you. We really hope you enjoyed the bubble painting activity. Don't forget to take a video or photo and add it to the comment section below. We look forward to seeing you again for another LVCC activity time. Take care and remember to wash your hands.